Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Steam Fortress Suicidal. I have had so many people complimenting my new avatar. Like, so many people. So many people. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's like everybody, every, everybody I know is being like, Whoa, new avatar, that's sick, that looks awesome. So many people just, just giving me compliments, and it's like, I want to tell the person who made it that uh, everybody's like, loving it and stuff, but I don't want to spam them, you know what I mean? I don't want to spam them. I don't want to feel like I'm spamming them, so I haven't. But uh, maybe I should because I'm getting I'm getting an enormous amount of compliments on it, and I'm not the one who made it. I'm like I want to pass these along, but I don't really want to, you know, spam this person, right? I already gave you your money, and I don't know how much you care. You know, I like them. They were good people. They're good people, but I don't want I don't want to bother them. You know, I don't want to bother them. Uh, so like I said in the last episode, there's probably going to be a delay for uh, getting the new stuff set up, the new channel, just because I'm going to be, I'm playing VR, okay? Like, just, I'm, t I'm telling it to you like it is. I'm playing VR. I'm, I'm playing a ton of Beat Saber and, and other VR games. I'm going to get my VR desktop stuff going on, and I'm going to play some Minecraft in VR. I'm going to play some Tabletop Simulator in VR. I'm going to play some VR chat. I'm going to play, I'm going to play, like, so many things, dude. It's going to be incredible. It's gonna be incredible. Uh, I'm gonna be playing so much. <laughs> um, my sister's probably gonna be playing a lot of it too. But I end up getting a free headset out of this just somehow, which I probably won't again. She's uh, she's definitely wanting it. Um, so that would be convenient, but like one percent chance, if that, of it actually happening. I'd like to play like I don't know, oxygen not included in VR. Imagine just like reaching out and like plopping down stuff and like picking up your little dupes and then putting them over here, you know? Oh, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. I'm 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 just obsessed with VR now. I'm a, I'm a VR fanatic. It's uh you know pivot the channel. We're we're, we're VR VR. We are a, a VR channel now. We're a virtual reality channel. All my videos are gonna be filmed in 360 degrees and only watchable on YouTube VR. It's the future. It's the future. I'm kidding, mostly. I'm really excited to play uh, Minecraft in VR, though. If I can get that working. Somehow or other. Because that is going to be a mind-boggling experience, I think. If uh, if Beat Saber and, like, just the damn Oculus Quest setup is anything to go off of, and I think it is, then uh, Minecraft in VR is going to be an incredible experience. It's going to be incredible. Uh, I want to like cast what's on the screen too, but I I don't want I don't know how to get it set up so well. I, I should really try and do that because uh, it was it was like weird because like while I'm helping my sister get it set up, I'm like for for to get into Beat Saber and like play it and pick a song and blah 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 blah. I'm like yeah, you have to do like this thing and you can't like know what they're looking at <laughs> and uh, yeah. I think that it takes uh, some, like, power out of the, like, CPU time, you know, to be uh, streaming it, casting it, because it's, it's got to send it over Wi-Fi and blah, 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 and does it have to send it over Wi-Fi? It's probably Bluetooth or something. Bluetooth radio, who knows? It's not uh, necessarily... It's it's definitely gonna be taking up some CPU time. I, I doubt they have like a a dedicated like casting you know chip on their SOC or whatever. Like I doubt it. <laughs> I'd I'd be genuinely pretty shocked if they did. I'd be like really really shocked. Okay, this is exactly why I saved this. That one bullet made the difference, dude. Made the difference. But oh man, it's like. Now, the bigger they are, it's, it's game changing. It's game changing. Again, not the best games I played. I, the, the selection isn't really that great either. Um, most of the games don't really look that cool, but Beat Saber is worth every penny I paid for it, which is like, I mean, at this point, about $1,000 for this stupid thing. Um, but worth every damn penny. Worth every damn penny. It's so good. 
I'm going to get super hot as well, play a bit of super hot. Um, yeah, I don't really get motion sickness from it. I know a lot of people get motion sickness from being on, like, roller coasters. I know people get motion sickness from moving around or, like, fluid motion or whatever. It just it doesn't bother me. I don't get it. It doesn't really affect me. It makes me a bit dizzy at times, kind of, if I'm being, like, spun around or something. But, like, what would you expect? <laughs> You know, like what you what you what you expect when you get spun around like a lunatic. Like the roller coaster took us on uh, some like you know loop de loops and then like barrel rolls and stuff. Like those made me a little bit, you know, busy. But I wouldn't really call it motion sickness, and I I, I don't think that's because of VR. I think I think I think that me getting motion sick is is or me getting a little bit uh, dizzy by it is. A good thing for the experience because like it's 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 showing that it's immersive, you know. It's it's because of the content, not the the actual like VR experience, you know. Which I guess I guess is kind of like true of all of it, right? But like I don't know, just just for me, I I really don't feel like motion sickness and and uh, being like disrupted by it is really gonna be a problem. I uh... yo the the craziest thing though, the craziest thing for me was uh, I was going through the like home setup things, you know, because you got like all these homes that you can set up and stuff, right? Um, like for your just like base when you're like your home screen, you know? Um, and one of them was this like Japanese retreat area place thing, you know? And uh, in they, they had like a pond with some koi fish in it. And... I don't know why, because at this point I'd played Beat Saber and like watched some videos and stuff and done the setup and blah 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 blah, you know. But for some reason, when I when I looked at those koi just swimming in the pond, I was like, "What the hell? <laughs> there are just fish right there, moving." Being alive, it was uh, it was it was really cool, really really cool to to see that. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's, oh, it's it's just it's just it's just it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm so happy I bought it. I'm gonna be spending an enormous amount of time in VR. It's it's just the way that it goes. It's just the way it goes. I do have a battery pack here, which is USB 2.0 charging, I believe. Um, yeah, seems like it. Uh, which isn't so good, you know, because uh, I don't know. I, I bet it's probably burning a little bit quicker than that, but I should be able to uh, charge it while I play. At least extend the battery life a little bit, which could be pretty cool, could be pretty nice. Um, you're not really supposed to charge it while you use it because that's just like a lot of heat Involved and it does actually get hot like the device gets physically warm like the front of it What, what you're using like what what's on your face isn't really hot, but uh, oh my god. I hate stalkers uh, What's what's on your face isn't really that hot But uh, if you touch the uh... No, we're just gonna What's, if you touch the the front of it, it it's it's quite warm, um, which is cool, because it, it really shows like that that like stuff's happening there, dude, <laughs> um, and then also like that they kept it off of your face so that your face doesn't get super hot. Um, and then and then you add in like charging the battery into that as well. It's just a lot of heat. That's gonna degrade the battery, and also like you know, usage and charges is not very good for battery. And it's just it's all around kind of like a bad thing for your battery to be getting worn down that much. But at the same time, you know, like, it's what it is. So deal with it. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, that's that's just the way it is. You know. If you want to play for more than like an hour, you have to have a battery pack plugged into your, I don't know, into your pocket or strapped onto it or something. 
I might see if there's like uh, I bet there are attachments that you can get that like strap onto the back of it or the side of it or something like that um, to extend the battery life I might take a look at those and see how much those cost because um, if they're like affordable you could get like you know two of them and just cycle them basically not that big a deal um, and if they're not affordable then uh, you know just get one of them and, and that'll probably be good for you anyway and then if they're like stupidly expensive proprietary junk which is what I expect them to be given that they're Facebook um, just get a normal like fairly lightweight this one's like a 50 milliamp hour battery yeah, disaster um, which is a no good why do you insist on getting in nice. the middle Nice. Nice defeat. shots. Nice hits. Nice nades. Delightful job. We're going this way. You, breath, I know. She's going to hit me. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this as well. Um, yeah, it's just... It's just... Nothing... Nothing comes close to being as cool as Beat Saber was, honestly. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at Beat Saber, but... Nevertheless, the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. The coolest thing. Ever. Ever. It was so cool. So cool. Wearing glasses with it is a little bit, like, iffy. It's a little bit iffy. Honestly, it is a little bit iffy. Um, it's got the, like, glasses spacer. Which does make wearing it pretty okay with glasses, honestly. Like, it's fine. Um, it's just, like, putting it on or taking it off or, like... Like, if you don't have glasses, you can kind of just, like, pull it up your face to take a look at something. If you do have glasses on... You can't really do that because it like drags your glasses around and you have to like take the whole thing off and it's a, a bit of a pain in the butt, but um, you know, whatever. It's okay. Yeah, it's not really a fault of uh, the headset. It's more a fault of me just needing glasses, which, you know, nothing I can really do about that besides, um, you don't know, need glasses necessarily, but at the same time especially in VR it's definitely helpful because it's already pretty low res she shoots, she kills. you know it, it looks you know with 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 my glasses on in VR it looks like I'm not wearing my glasses without my glasses in VR it's like I'm not wearing my glasses and then somebody like put a not wearing my glasses overlay on it which is uh bad for sure oh uh, but it's it's such a mind-blowing experience i'm so excited for my mother to get home so i can show it to her i uh i did end up oh talking to talking about my mother um you know not really related at all but uh i ordered i did end up ordering some cannabis online because i wanted to uh not have to like go to a store with a, a note and like show them the note of the things that I want and stuff, you know. I'd rather just have them come to me and then uh, be like, "Hey, you got ID?" and I'd be like, uh, "Motion, you know, putting the ID up, you know, just show them my ID or whatever, and then sign the stuff and let them be on their way. I don't have to like speak or like talk or anything like that. I don't have to. You know, it's, it's very easy to get through that interaction with." Um, purely gestures and stuff you know you don't really need words so much which is uh, a good thing for me however uh, when I ordered it it was like oh by the way we're not actually delivering now you have to go pick it up at the post office and I'm like ah I think it's still simpler for me to order what I want and then go to the post office and show them a note saying, like, I want this and this. Or at the very least, I, I should be able to talk myself through that experience, um, even. I should I should be able to, to talk with that, so 
because it's not very much, you know, just be like, hi there, need a package for this, right? Not not that bad. I'm getting I'm getting better at talking to people um, these days. It's actually kind of like going away, which is nice. Um, Down you go. Getting getting somewhere. Might might soon I soon might be comparable to an adolescent child in terms of vocal acuity. Soon. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I, I ordered it, and they were like, yeah, you can't. It's, it's all over at the, the post office. Because of the uh, COVID. It's because of COVID. They're like, yeah, we don't really want to have to go anywhere that we have to like sign stuff and get ID and all that kind of stuff. We'd rather you come to us and you know be able to kick you out if you're not wearing a mask. <laughs> right? Which is, is very reasonable. Um, so it's still more like it's still fine. Anyway, I got, uh, got, uh, got some CBD oil. Which I'll just like take sublingually or whatever. It's like you put it under your tongue for like 30 seconds or something. And then, uh, I don't know, like swallow the rest of it or whatever. It's like absorbed into your whatever. I don't, I don't know the science behind it. Okay, I don't know the science behind it, but you just, you put it into your mouth. And then you just kind of hold it there for a bit, and then it uh, it works a little bit better than edibles. This is uh, my understanding, anyway. Cheaper too, like a lot cheaper. Because based like the CBD oil is basically what they're putting into the edibles, right? So with the edibles, you're paying for the CBD oil, plus you're paying for you know the all the other ingredients and processing that goes into turning them into an edible. And then you also have to pay for, you know, R&D and blah, 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 and, like, all the other kind of junk that goes into creating a new product and managing the SKUs and all this kind of stuff. So the, the, the price gets hiked up quite a bit once you end up buying the, uh, once you end up buying the non-just, like, oils or even, like, flowers or seeds even. Um, seeds are actually quite expensive, but, like, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I... They're, they they last a little bit longer, you know. Assuming you're actually willing to take care of them, it's actually kind of funny because the we, we somehow went from VR to talking about cannabis. Look, I'm a VR and a weed channel now. Okay, this is the way it goes. If you don't like it, then stick around because it's not actually true. Uh, anyway, the uh, the website that sells the seeds, or at least the website that I was on yesterday, which is like a government website, which is just so funny to me because. They sell THC chocolate chip cookies, and it's like, yeah, no, my government just sells, like, weed cookies. I can buy them from my government, and other people have, you know, their government that tries to... Anyway, I've, I've talked about the morbidity or whatever of that before, uh, but uh, anyway, they're really sassy about returns on seeds specifically so I can't tell you verbatim how it goes but it's basically something like we're not responsible for the care of the seed we don't guarantee that it's gonna you know bloom or whatever we don't guarantee the gender of the plants we don't accept returns of a dead plant because it's defective in quotes like whoo ow sassy yeah you know, you, you, they've had a few uh people coming in with like dead plants being like yeah the seed was defective dude can i get a refund you know being like no you killed you killed the plant do you go to walmart and be like yeah the seeds i bought are defective can i get new seeds no of course not the seeds aren't defective you're defective but it's really funny looking at the the return policy on it because they will return it if like um there's like a valid reason but the plant not growing is apparently not one of those which is fair that's very fair they, they you know the seed is they're not shipping you you know dead seeds they're shipping you seeds you either take care of them or you don't you either grow the dang plant or you don't but anyway it's legal to grow plants here I might, uh, I might get into that at some point, but I don't really want to smoke it. Um, because, like, smoking is bad. 
for your lungs and stuff, and I don't really want to get into like making my own edibles from a plant that I grow, and then like, I don't know, getting oils or something out of like, I, it's just, we're getting into some, some pretty, you know, that's a lot of work, a lot of investment, a lot of time, when I could just like buy the finished products. Might save, it might save money in the long run to like, you know, DIY it, DIY, DIY it. You know, maybe, maybe in the long term it's a little bit cheaper to, to do it yourself, but um, I think it affects your like home insurance and stuff too, so I wouldn't even be able to do it here. Uh, and then like if I'm going to be renting somewhere, like you know, they might not necessarily allow that or whatever, because there's still a big stigma um, around it, which there shouldn't be, because it's legal, okay? It's legal, there's no problems with it, no stigma. But there is still stigma around it because people still want to be like, oh, you're know, stupid stoners or whatever. But it's like, yeah, it's the only way I can talk to my mom. So I did buy some THC. That's that's definitely not just so I can talk to my mom. I mean, the, t the CBD I bought is definitely not so I can talk to my mom either. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, it's just because, I mean, mo honestly, mostly to help me sleep is why I bought it. Cause I have I have trouble sleeping sometimes, especially when I have like an event or something happening the next day. And I figured, you know what? Just get some CBD, dude. And then uh, if you got a big event that you're not gonna be able to get to sleep for, just uh, you know, take a little sleeping assistant, <laughs> and uh, see how it goes. See how it goes. Should be fine. They're bleeding already. He doesn't really look like he's bleeding, though. He looks more like he's dripping of plasma or something. Weird energy crystals. Weird energy crystals. Pretty sure his, like, chest piece is actually, like, more... Um... Uh... Like, le is more weak than his face, but you, you can't really shoot his face. Or you can't really shoot his crystal so well. Because of uh, his, you know, stupid arms in his face, or in his crystal, hiding it. And it I mean, bosses don't really have any weaknesses anyway. You know, the weakness is like 1.1, 0.9, like, eh, whatever. Shoot him wherever you want to shoot him. Just keep your uh, headshot buffs up and you're fine to go. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I had a lot of fun playing VR and I ordered a bunch of uh, cannabis online from my government. And then they told me that I have to go and pick it up. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to. But that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you, dude. Whatever. I'm out. I'm cool. I'm with it. It's the kids who are wrong.